<laughs> but so that I'm gonna include that. I'm gonna talk about how they use the the weapons as a selling point. But like it's kind of dumb because they just get vaulted essentially because they're non-usable. Um talk about the difference between the bullet velocity, the visual shake, the difference between the sniping and how the game was simple in 2000 uh and and Warzone 1. You're thinking of gold. Yeah, no, no, no. He's talking about obsidian where you do the gold then the obsidian. Yeah, it's it's 150 on top of the 100. So it's 250 each. Yeah, none of them are worth using. So that that doesn't help. And I think the part that's bad about Warzone 3 is they went with this attachment system and just adds to a lot of bloat because you go to an optics, there's 75 optics. There's 30 under barrels, 25 muzzles. It's, it's nuts. I think the backpacks objectively make the game more complicated. And because it's more complicated, not that it's complicated, but that it's more complicated than not. Um, it's, it, it takes away from gunplay. Like you should just be in and out, not thinking about inventory map. You should be gun on gun. I think the rotating maps also suck, uh, because, oh, I put that in twice. I got playlist rotation. I think those also suck. Uh, I think that the fact that they did resurgence ranked. Back to back to back was a huge missed opportunity. I think that also contributes to the game being stale because it's not like they changed the meta enough for people to use different guns. So essentially when you load it, it's going to feel the same. They didn't do really any map changes that contribute to that. So it essentially feels the same. Uh, and then I think um, there's a lot of conversation about connections and shadow bands. Personally, I have great connections and I never get shadow banned. Nor have I ever considered cheating. So there's people that will say, oh, I got shadow banned for nothing. And then they get their PC checked. Oh, I didn't know that that was cheating. Yes, it is. Yeah, Warzone 2 was red dot only. Yeah, it was terrible. And then I think the delayed map um, is like to hammer home that it's pretty urgent that we fix some of these things. At least because if we know we're not going to get a map, that's content that we're not going to get. We know that uh, ranked is going to come to big map in season one, probably with BO6. Or it's not going to be until we get, I think it's with the new, uh, this map, we'll get it, but with the new game. I don't know. Then we're going to get new movement systems and stuff. So I think there's a lot that'll change, but I think you need to include counterpoints. Well, we've never even come close to a power creep, uh, but um, let me go ahead and do power creep just in there as a talking point. Power creep. Um, the problem is the game never goes through a power creep. What's a power creep? Uh, let me draw it. So what happens is, let's say the baseline. Oop. Oop. The baseline is generally right here. Let's say the TTKs. Oh, we got to go opposite because TTKs start off high. So let's say this is a thousand millisecond TTK just for sake of our, uh, let's actually go lower. Let's make it SMG. So let's say it's 650. What happens is, uh, they introduce new guns, but instead of making these worse and then having the new guns replace these at 650, what they do is they bring in the new guns at 600. And what happens is objectively, these are better. So people will just switch out and go from 650 down to 600. Well, the problem is when you introduce the new game, now you're introducing it at 550 TTK. 500, let's say. Now it's too fast, and these are obsolete. And the power creeped, and this now the game's broken. Instead of 
having the happy balance. That's normally how a power creep will happen is when they introduce new guns. The problem is generally when they've introduced new guns, they're all garbage. So they're not even worth using most of the time. Aftermarket parts, garbage. So what is cool though, is if you introduce one gun that is slightly faster and then you let it live for a little bit and then you nerf it and then you buff other stuff and then you nerf stuff and then you buff stuff and then you nerf stuff. Well, what will happen is then you get a balance of the metas changing and it gets variety, but there needs to be about seven guns in this mix that you can use that are fun to use, balanced. Some are better than others, but generally you want most of the guns to fit within this range so that if you aren't using optimum premium, then you still feel like you can compete. The problem with SBMM, it introduces the cycle where, oh shit, I need the fastest killing gun because like, otherwise I just lose the gunfight because I was having fun with my, um, Lockman 762 or whatever. Cool. But I get gunned every fucking time I fight someone unless their back is turned to their low health without plates. Like, that's just not fun. I want to use the Lockman 762. Well, you're kind of asked out. You got to use the Holger 26. You got to all use the Holger 556. You got to use the SVA. If you're not using those, uh, play on console, Frost, for one month. Um, Yeah. So then that's the problem. Well, the reason why having this big range of like seven or eight weapons and maybe two or three like insanely good options is because if you're a casual, you've leveled up like a handful of guns. When they go about nerfing your gun that you've leveled up, the average person is not going to be more motivated to jump on and grind another gun out. They're either going to be discouraged or hope that one of the other seven guns that they've leveled happens to also be meta, which doesn't normally happen because it's usually a new gun or something else. Sweats, it doesn't matter. They don't care. Everything's already max level. But for casuals, that's why it's important to buff stuff because if their gun was good and you're buffing other things, that doesn't make their gun bad. So the gun they've spent all this time grinding on isn't like objectively worse now. It's like, oh, well, this is still a good option. If I do want to switch though, I can switch to one of these other guns. And that's kind of how it works. So you end up with the balance where casual people end up being happy and grinders don't care. They're just glad to use a different gun. But the problem is when we go to the meta, you got fucking two guns that are good. Maybe this one up there too. You got two guns that are good and everything else is trash. Yeah, they're going to nerf the superior again and everyone's going to be like, oh, trash. So, um, there's that. So, I think that's important. Then this playlist 